everyone from a noisy road <laughs> I'm gonna go in just to show you what we are gonna see today we are in Vauxhall Park it's a small park just south of the River Thames and it's still winter and it's still locked down in London so there is not a lot to do we are allowed to go to parks and not much more <laughs> so I thought I'm gonna start a series of wanderings through parks in my area and see what we can see it's a fairly old park uh, I think it's been opened about 130 years ago and yeah I've been here a very long time ago and I don't remember much of it so that's why I thought I'll give it a go and I just spotted something the first snow drops I've seen this year <laughs> they're a bit fainted already but they're still pretty look there's more in there hiding between the rocks it's really really cold today we had snow the last couple of weekends which is very unusual for London <laughs> and now it's zero and minus three and less in the night so fun okay Mm, let's go that way. As I said, it's still winter, so there are green bits here and there, but the trees are still bare. But the silhouettes are beautiful, and I honestly don't know what's expecting us today, but we shall see. Oh, an old plantain or whatever conquest thingy. Nice. And the roots of an old chopped out tree. There's a cafe down there and I think I'm gonna wake my way there to grab a hot coffee <laughs> to warm up a bit one interesting thing in London and I think throughout the UK actually is that in many parks or public spaces people put up benches in memory of loved ones who probably like to come around like this one this person died last year and you can still see somebody put some roses and sometimes there's really nice little mementos of trying to encompass their lives it's a nice gesture and I found another memorial plaque oh, I don't know if I can show it to you properly but it's under a little mulberry tree and it says it marks the site of the house where uh, Millicent Garrett Fawcett and Henry Fawcett lived in the late 800s I know that both of them were very active one member of parliament and his wife she did a lot of um, uh, women's liberation thingies and stuff so that's nice there's a little cafe there where you obviously can't sit down at the moment just take a take a wake up and a very noisy main road oh I'll just show you that we are close to skyscrapers and stuff <laughs> 
These have all been built in the last, I don't know, three years or so. And there's a little gut park there. Must be the same everywhere that oh, look pretty. Um, the main parks have a designated area for little doggos to run around. That's one beautiful tree. And the usual. <laughs> Lichens and a bit of moss. It's gonna have beautiful leaves in a few months. Okay. Let's keep going. There's some people out, but I think because it's so cold. <laughs> A lot only come out for a little walk and then rush back home. I'm still okay. My hands are cold because <laughs> I'm holding the camera. But I'll be fine for a while. I want to go inside that part. Let's go and see what's there. And there's a children's playground. And there's a nice water fountain here, which is now not functioning. It has some nice mosaic inside. Let's have a look. Some little bees, some lavender, some butterflies. Vauxhall Park Lavender planted in 2003 to celebrate what Vauxhall Motors Centenary. Okay, so another memorial type thing. Oh, that really looks pretty. It's not very sunny today again, it's quite overcast, but. Cool. Alright, and I want to go inside that little fenced area. I can see some tiny little houses. <laughs> What's up with you guys? Look at that. Miniature houses. Okay, there's a thingy here, which I'm going to read to you, until then you can look at them. Friends of Vauxhall Park. These model houses were made for Vauxhall Park in 1949 by Edgar Wilson of Norwood. He had made other sets of houses, but only these and the set in Melbourne, Australia, remain these houses were restored in 2001 by local resident and friend of Vauxhall Park, Mr. Nobby Clark. They were unwelled in June 2001 by local MP for Vauxhall, Miss Kate Huey. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna take you inside and let's have a look at them up close. You can see some remnants of snow from the other day. Let's have a look at the houses. There is the first one. It's on your side. Oh, that's cool. Oopsie. Sorry, wiggling in. Let's have a look at the rest. I 
I assume they're modeled on typical English houses throughout the country. I don't really know. They look nice. So cute. And I spotted something as I was passing by. I'm gonna go back there. There we are. Other than the snowball drops which we saw at the beginning, crocuses are usually the others that pop up way before spring arrives. And these are lovely purple ones. I'm curious if I'm going to spot any others of different colors. And there's a bit of sunshine coming up and some lovely pigeons. Hello! They're beautiful. Sorry I didn't bring any food. But I'm sure you've been fed by others. And I spotted some more flowers. Well, they're just shooting up and they will be daffodils. Hello. <laughs> You're coming back. There's a few more there. It's nice to see that they're thoughtful during these cold times and provide birdies with extra supplements. <laughs> Some nice grassy bits. <laughs> they're nice and soft. It's too early for anything to really sprout and look spectacular. But here, okay, now the sun is in my eyes. You can see these nicely organized patches, I hope, because I can't see much. These are lavender patches, which I'm sure by May and June will be looking splendid. Look. So I'll come back then probably to have a look. There's loads. And here there's a ton of pigeons! <laughs> Somebody just drops up food for them. So let's have a look at you guys. Hello! What are you eating? <laughs> Lots of happy sounds. You're interesting, look at you. Alright. It's interesting to see in how many different colors they come. The feathers shine in different shimmers yeah you're looking at me <laughs> I have no food they're very expectant you just got a lot of things okay and the magpie and the squirrel in the distance Woo! okay I think we can see the lavender 
patches better from here as I said they are now still pulling through winter they will be beautiful later on and the central part of this little park coming back <laughs> okay well there's not a lot to see here so oh hello you are nice and speckly aren't you oops <laughs> and they all went for a feed <laughs> loads okay just gonna have a closer look at some of the bushes and stuff and a nice cedar tree I think <laughs> There's a sundial here in the middle of the park. It would be nice now if I had wings. <laughs> I could take a nice shot from above of all the layers. <laughs> oh. Okay, I don't know, does it show like this? Yeah, more or less, I think. Cool. I found something else. Just sprouting out. It's still deep in the ground. But I think it's gonna be a hyacinth. They're beautiful. Flowers with an amazing aroma. I've got someone at home now. They make the whole house smell lovely. I just stop to look at this. The tree is alive, but part of it, obviously, on this side, it probably had some dead branches. They chopped it off. They stopped to look because it's really really interesting. You can see not just the rings but I don't know wood lice or whatever dug into it. <laughs> it's interesting. Look. It's like tiny little drills. Holes drilled in it. And I found another little plant, which I actually don't know what it is. It looks like it has flowers popping out. Please let me know if you know what this is. The tree or shrub, I'm not quite sure what it is. It's quite small still. It's like less than half a meter tall at the moment. Oops, focus. There we go. That's the best I can show you. There's a water fountain and drinking water. That's something you have not seen. Does it work? See. No. <laughs> I was pressing the button. But no. And I'm gonna go this way because I spotted more little beauties. And we 
we've seen the purple ones, now we can see the yellow ones. There you go. They're not open yet. Pretty. There's some happy doggos playing with a ball. <laughs> I think they're paying attention to their masters there. Anyway, I think that's it for today from wandering through Vauxhall Park. As I said at the beginning, and as you could see, it is a small park, but it's a nice place to come out to. I'll be wandering around for a bit longer, just to get a bit more exercise <laughs> into the day. But there's not really much I can show you, and also it's quite noisy, as you are surrounded by a main road, and the Giddy Park is nearby. So, that's that. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to seeing this park when it's full of life and vegetation and it's nice and warm, <laughs> not freezing cold. <laughs> anyway, have a lovely day and a good week. Cheerio!